All right, we are at Walmart and we're gonna do some fall shopping.
you guys. Welcome back to the Lightbird House. I'm so glad that you could join us today. We've done a little fall shop with me. I've also got out my fall items from last year, so I'm just going to go through and show you real quick what we got. I'll start with the stuff that I had from last year and go from there, and I'll tell you where I got everything. So this Hello Pumpkin um, decoration and this little galvanized... Um, a little arrangement here came from Walmart last year. I also have some Febreze pumpkin. I like to put that out in my bathrooms in the fall. This goes around a little Glade plug-in to make it look decorative. I got this room spray last year. It came from Marshalls and it smells so good. I also have this sign that hangs on my front door. I got this from Dollar Tree last year along with this little garland here and I just I put everything out of my bed so ignore that um, these little pumpkins I've got brown gold and orange these came from Dollar Tree last year as well and then these three couch pillows came in a set so I just put these on my I usually put this one on my love seat and then these two um, in either corner of my sofa so those all came from Marshalls last year. For the new stuff that I got this year, I just kind of separated it by store. So I got these hand towels. These, I don't know if the light will pick it up, but it's got glitter. These are just a set of two hand towels that I got from Marshalls. And I thought that one of these would look nice just hanging in my powder room. And then here I have a set of five dish towels. So you get two that have the pumpkin and say blessed on them and then two of the orange and one is just plain white and these were $9.99 for five towels so that's pretty good and then for these two it was $7.99 I also bought a candle this sand and fog is one of my favorite brands of candle they smell so good but this one is jack-o-lantern and I love the different lids that they put on these they're so festive I got a new throw blanket here for my sofa I bought this at Burlington this is new this year so I went to Burlington a couple weeks ago and just thought that this print was really pretty and thought that it would look nice I got a little haul here from Dollar Tree and also, I want to take some of these decorations to work to decorate my cubicle with, and I'll show you that as well after I do that. But I was thinking about just taking this to work. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's really pretty. This pumpkin. They had pumpkins with the monogram on, so got an L for our last name. I got these twinkle lights. And I need to get a battery for these, but I thought they were so pretty. Dollar Tree. I got a cinnamon broom because when I was looking through the decor, they had a box of these and it smelled so good. And I bought one of those last year. I got this. It's a little uh, candle holder. You could put it like one of those battery operated tea lights in there, or you could just put a, a regular tea light candle. I got this sparkly orange pumpkin and I thought you know I could put a pumpkin on top or do something with it we'll figure out what to do with that I got two of these picks right here it's like a orange like rust orange with glitter and I just thought these would look cute like mixed in with some garland I bought two more of these pieces of garland just like the one that I bought last year now it says that these are five feet but I definitely don't think so but these are just for my table or if I take one to work to put them on my desk I mean for a dollar they're pretty so I decided to grab a couple more of those next on to Walmart I bought some more twinkle lights because um, I bought these to go actually like in some garland I think I'm still going to go to Hobby Lobby or maybe I'll look on Amazon. I want to get a thick garland to put on my TV stand downstairs. This also came from Walmart. They had it green and uh, neutral, like a beige as well. So, there's that. 
I got this, and there's glitter all over it from those picks that had glitter, I guess. Um, but all about fall and pumpkin spice, y'all. So I thought that was cute. And then I grabbed two of their foam pumpkins, kind of like a cream colored pumpkin with a little bit of uh, like gray on the top there. So. And then this longer pumpkin here. So these are just the foam pumpkins and I thought these would look nice. I still, like I said, want to go to Hobby Lobby. I did not make it to Hobby Lobby today. We did go to Walmart. We went to Dollar Tree. I did go look through the Target dollar spot. Didn't find anything at Target that I wanted. But of course I did get Starbucks. So I had my pumpkin spice frappuccino and it was delicious. After that, we went to a store called Pop Shelf and then Marshall's and that was it. So uh, definitely we'll be going to Hobby Lobby to try to find a few more things. All right, guys. So today my daughter and I ran into Hobby Lobby and I just got a few little things here um, for the fall decorate with me. So everything was half off. I bought these two six foot garlands here and they were... $13.99 each and I just thought they were super pretty this one's got just the leaves and then over here this one's got some different looking little berries on it um, and kind of the darker color leaves but anyway they were both $13.99 and they are six foot so they had so many pretty ones to choose from so there is those I also got this and this was $12.99 but it was half off and then this pumpkin it's like a more of a copper color the camera is making it look like an orange but this one was $12.99 and it was half off and I was thinking on my table of putting it just inside of there like that and I thought that would look cute. You could also set a candle in here if you want to put a fall candle in there. Then I got these white pumpkin picks. These were $1.99 each, but again, they were half off. And then this one was $3.99, but again, it was half off and I just thought it looked really pretty. So I'm thinking, you know, taking these and just setting them out inside of the garland. Um, and I'll show you how that looks. My plans are to use one of these on our TV console and then the other one on a counter area that I have downstairs that breaks up my kitchen for my living room. So let's go get to decorating. All right guys, we're about to start the decorating portion of the video. First things first, um, I didn't really do anything special over here. I am gonna change out my little signs here that I got. I got these from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And I have one This says pumpkin spice lattes, please. So we'll swap that out. And then also while I was at the store today at Kroger's, I found these maple flavored Lindor truffles. So if you like lint truffles, these taste pretty good. They actually have kind of a coffee taste to them. So I thought I'd just set those there. They're not gonna stay there, but just for now. And then also I took my little K cups here and left the pumpkin spice as well as the Sumatra because it's a pretty uh, purple color for fall and then I added the orange ones. So to get started, I think I'll make a cup of coffee. I want to try this maple pecan Starbucks and see how it is. Also, don't know if you peeped the fall colored Nespresso pods here. All right, so maple pecan coffee. I put some French vanilla creamer and some sugar in there. Also, I have my fall coffee spoon holder out from Elite 3D Prints. You can find them on Facebook or Etsy at Elite 3D Prints. So there's that. They have all kinds of different colors. Perfect for any coffee bar. All right, let's go on to the living room and let's get started. All right, so here's what we're working with. We've got all of the fall things here on the sofa. I've got most of it in this bag right here. So 
let's get started and the first thing that I want to do I bought this jack-o-lantern candle it smells so good I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here so I have my I keep my candles on this little wall and this one is a mango tangerine candle but it's orange so I'll leave it out this one's also not festive but it's beige so we'll leave it out I'm going to remove the coffee candle and also this one this one is one of my favorites the sun and fun it smells just like the ocean it's almost burned down to the bottom so but I am going to remove it and I love the little lids that come on these they're so pretty so we're gonna remove that so this is just the little wall area that separates my uh, kitchen from my living room And I love this. I got it from Etsy a couple years ago. So most of my living room is already kind of fall tones anyway. But what we're going to do, I'm going to move this lighter out of the way. I was planning on taking one of my fall garlands and really um, making it look nice over here. Alright, so I've got a garland up here. I think that's good enough um, just to put some nice pretty color over here. I'm not really going to, I don't think I'm going to put any pics in this garland because, you know, it's behind the couch. So no one's really going to be looking at it unless they're in the kitchen. So I think that that is good enough for right now. Um, but we'll see. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is mess with my couch pillows. So the couch pillows are kind of sad looking. They're just brown and beige. What I'm going to do is move these. I might take and set them in my front room on the uh, beige sofa that I have in there for now or we could use them in here I mean they do go with the fall decor so normally what I do is take this large pillow that says thankful and I'll put that in the center of the love seat something like that that pillow right there so what I may do is leave these larger pillows on the sofa and then just incorporate these smaller pillows in with it. These little blue ones that I have here for fall. So we can do that. We'll just put those together. All right, I've got to start unpacking the things out of this bag. I've got more garlands in here. Pumpkins galore. I also need to hang this out on the front door. So this is my little front room area. I'm not really going to do too much in here. I don't want to overwhelm the family as, um, you know, they're not really <laughs> into fall as much as I am. So I have a red door hanger and a black one. I'm going to go ahead and use the black one and get this hung up out on my door. Alright, so one thing I always do for the holidays is decorate this little tray here. I used to do a little three-tiered tray, but um, so I'm going to take the decor out of here and set it to the side. I thought that I could use this little container that I keep my remotes in and put um, maybe a, like a towel in here and a pumpkin. I don't know. I may keep it out and use it. Not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tray decorated up. When you're decorating, don't be afraid to use things that you already have in your home if they go with your decor style and you like them. So this, I just shoved a little dish towel in there. And you can play around with different things and see how you like it. Come up with something that is your style. I'm going to take the remotes here and do something with them. But um, I think that I like this. I just took and put our room sprays in here and then it's got this orange dish towel sticking out of the back of it. Next, we're going to do the TV console. So I've got my automatic sprayer here with this pumpkin spice things up. It's like a caramel pumpkin scent, and it's just that automatic sprayer, and it's also like festive. It's white and gold, so I just leave that there. All right, so the garland fits on this console perfectly, and what I'm going to do is probably add some twinkle lights and some pics to it, but it looks really pretty. So I'm going to spruce it up and then let you see the final result. All right, 
right, so after playing around with the garland and putting the picks in here, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. So I just took those picks that had the glitter on them from the Dollar Tree and then these white pumpkin ones from Hobby Lobby and placed them in here as well as the one with the beige leaves. So we've got two of each of those picks there and then the beige leaves, I only bought one of those. And then I just took this white pumpkin I got from Walmart and put it in the center. Up here I just put another spray and a little pumpkin. You can put a tea light candle in here. I probably will get one of those flameless candles to stick in there. Oh, and I also used these little twinkle lights from Dollar Tree, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a sec. I'll turn off the lights. And I also just set this up here, and then on our other speaker, just set two little pumpkins out, so it's not too overwhelming. I'm going to finish up by decorating the couch here, putting this new throw blanket on, and then I'm going to go put some of these dish towels in the kitchen. Also over here with this garland, I did add to it. I put this purple little pumpkin over here at the end of the garland, and then the monogrammed L pumpkin I just put right here in front of this candle, and then I put another pumpkin at the end. So I like the way that this came out. It looks really cute. I also have my little cinnamon broom to set out, so I need to find a spot for that as well. I have this little um, treasure chest over there. Maybe I'll just, <laughs> just set it right there in front of this treasure chest. It looks like a piece of decor, and it's going to make the room smell of cinnamon, so we'll just leave it there for now. Alright, so in the powder room, we have the pug over there. <laughs> All I did was just change out the hand towel. We had a yellow one hanging in here and just put this fall. It's a kitchen towel, but it's fine. I'm not really going to put anything in here. I could add a little pumpkin, I guess. And it just so happens that we have the orange little disinfecting wipes. So how fitting is that? That was not planned, by the way. And that little sign from Etsy. So that's it for the powder room. Starting to look good in here, guys. Almost completed. Alright, I'm back in the kitchen where I started this video. And I'm just going to hang some little towels. I had some extra garland left that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I just kind of wrapped it around the um, milk frother here. And then tucked it back behind the espresso cups. And wrapped it around the sugar container just to make the coffee bar look a little bit festive. And then I'll also hang some of the extra hand towels off the coffee bar here next to the Nespresso machine. All right, so I'm gonna use one of the ones with the flowers here and then a plain white one. I think that'll look nice and pretty. Just hanging here off the coffee bar. So now I will give you a overview of everything that I did. And again, I only did my a uh, few little touches in my kitchen, my powder room, and the living room. I did not touch the rest of the house just because I don't want to overwhelm everybody with all the fall. Just have a few sprinkles here and there. And then of course all the fall flavored coffee. By the way, the maple pecan Starbucks coffee was pretty good, so I will be drinking more of those.
so overall I'm super happy with the way the room came out and I'll show you a view if you're standing behind the sofa just looking into the living room and also I wanted to show you what the twinkle lights look like so I'll turn the light off in a second and show you so if you're coming in you're gonna see that garland over there and all the fall day for Oliver the Bulldog he is not asleep yet but also we have that basket there that's where I keep the blankets when we're not using them on the couch so I will turn on the twinkle lights and show you what those look like the battery pack on these is clear but I went ahead and hid it underneath the garland like that you can see it close up but from far away you're not going to see that so I'm going to go ahead and turn out the lights so that you can see how cozy this looks and keep in mind it was just a small string of lights from the Dollar Tree I should have probably picked up another one but this is what it's looking like they're just tucked in here into the garland so at night if I turn these on and have a cup of coffee it's gonna give a nice little cozy vibe while we're watching movies and stuff in here so I'm happy with the way that that came out I'll probably head back to the store to get some more twinkle lights, at least one more strand that I can just weave around here in the garland. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to know where I got anything, um, if I might have left something out, just leave a comment below and I'll try to let you know where I got these items from. Again, if you haven't checked out Hobby Lobby, everything was 50% off, all the fall decor. Um, and also the Dollar Tree had some really cute stuff, so, you know, go check them out. And, um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.